Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a smart chatbot using Rasa and Llama 3. So what are we building? By the end of this tutorial, we'll have an academic chatbot that understands user intent. Whether someone is asking what is gravity or explain gravity, it knows what they mean. We'll be using Llama 3 model, so no cloud is required. Plus, we'll also have fallback messages that keep the conversations going. When we talk about the tools that we'll be using, we'll be using Rasa as well as Rasa Software Development Kit to help us write custom actions. We'll be using Olama to run the Llama 3 model for our smart answers. Now, with the tools known, it is very important to understand the flow of our chatbot. So when the user sends a message, Rasa first uses its NLU engine to detect the intent. This is then passed to the core engine, which decides next step based on rules or stories. The bot then performs an action like sending a reply or calling an API, and it returns the response to the user. Now that we know the tools, Roll up your sleeves and let's get started to build the chatbot. So let's start by setting up our project. I've opened an empty folder called Rasa Chatbot in Visual Studio Code. The first thing that we'll need to do is create a virtual environment. So open the terminal and virtual environment can be created with the following command. The name of my environment is rasa underscore env. Give it a few moments while it creates the environment. That's done. Once that is done, we also need to activate it. So if you are a Windows user, use the following command to activate your uh, virtual environment. With our environment ready, now it's time to install the necessary packages. So to do that, we use pip install rasa and rasa sdk. This also could take a few moments to get installed. There we go. The required libraries have been installed. Next, we'll be using the Llama 3 model. To do that, we'll be pulling that using Olama. We'll use the command Olama pull Llama 3. Now, since I already have that model, it shows the same for me. If you are pulling it for the first time, it could take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes because it is huge in size. Once the model is pulled, we need to start our model. To do that, open up a new terminal and run the following command, olama run llama3. This will start an interactive shell. Now that all our tools are installed, it's time to create the actual Rasa project. Run this command to create a basic chatbot project using Rasa CLI. There we go. So as you can see, it has created various files which are essential for our training data. We'll be editing them in the upcoming steps. For now that we have the project in place, let's start writing the code. Rasa uses intents to classify the purpose of a user's message. For example, someone saying hi or hello is expressing the intent to greet. These go under the NLU file inside the data directory. As you can see, some intents are already present over here, but we need to modify them based on our chatbot. So here's the modified code. We have three intents, ask question, greet, as well as goodbye. Each with example phrases, as you can see, so that our bot understands and responds accurately during the conversations. Next, we need to modify the domain.yml file. This file acts as the master plan for our chatbot. It lists all the intents, actions, responses, and optionally the slots, as you can see. So here's the modified code of our domain.yml file. Herein, we have declared three intents, ask question, greet, and goodbye. These map to different kinds of user messages. We have also included an optional entity called topic, just in case you want to extract specific subject names later on. The action Llama 3 explained right here is a custom action that talks to the Llama 3 model. And under the responses, again, we have defined what the chatbot should say when someone greets it. 
So this is the brain of our chatbot where all its behaviors responses are listed. Next up, we define how a chatbot behaves using conversation rules. This will go under the rules.yml file. Rules are like if this, then that instructions. These are useful for handling predictable interactions. So here's the code. In here, the rules are that if the user says hi, as in agreed, the bot greets them. If they say bye, then the bot says goodbye. If the user types something unclear, then we have a fallback message. And if they ask a question, the bot fetches the answer, a smart answer using Llama 3 model. Next, let's add the stories. These are like sample conversations that show Rasa how real users might interact. Here's our modified file for the stories. We have three stories. The first one is if the user greets and then asks a question, bot replies with a greeting and then answers the question via action llama to explain. If the user says goodbye, then the bot replies with utter goodbye action. If the user says something which doesn't match any of the known intent, the bot responds with the fallback message utter default. So these are the stories for our chatbot. It's time to connect our custom action to the main Rasa server. To do that, we'll edit the endpoints.yml file. And at the top of it, this is the code that we'll be adding. It tells Rasa where to find the custom action server. In our case, it's running locally on port 5055. We'll also update the configuration file. In here, we have the uh, names in the comments, but I'll just write it down. So in this case, we are introducing a fallback classifier. Threshold 0.4 over here basically means that if the intent confidence is below 40%, it'll trigger the fallback. Now it's time that we write the main code in the actions.py file. This is where we'll write the code that connects the bot to the Llama 3 model using Olama. So let's start by importing the necessary libraries. With the libraries imported, let's define the custom action class that will send the user questions to the model and return the responses. Here we have created the action llama3 explain class. That's a custom class. You can name it anything you like, but it should clearly indicate what the action does. The name method over here, it returns the name of the action that we had created in domain.yml file. Make sure the names are same. This gives Rasa a way to recognize and map user questions to this custom action. Now let's build the run method, which holds the code logic. The run method has three main inputs. Dispatcher, which is used to send the messages to the user. Tracker, which holds the current conversation domain, which has the metadata. Next, we need to take the current input from the user. So to do that, we'll be using the latest underscore message dot get block. Now let's say if the user input is somehow empty or not captured, we need to handle that as well. So to do that, we are using an if block. The bot will ask the user to repeat their question and then end the action. Next, we'll have the try block. In this try block, we are sending a post request to Olama's local server. The user's question itself is being sent as a prompt. Here, stream being false means that we want the full response and not uh, stream chunks. We'll also check the response generated by Olama as follows. So if the response from Olama was successful, 200, OK, we'll extract the response JSON. If the model gave a valid answer, we'll send it back to the user using dispatcher. But if the response was empty, then bot gives a fallback reply. We'll also have an accept block for the try block written earlier. So if the response code wasn't 200, we print the error and show a friendly message. And lastly, we return an empty list as this action doesn't set any slots or trigger follow-up actions. Now that we have finished building our chatbot, it's time to train it so it understands everything we have set up. So open your terminal and run the command rasa train. It could take a few minutes.
it's done. Once done, you'll see a confirmation message like this. Your ASA model is trained and saved. Now for the exciting part, we'll test our chatbot. The first thing we need to do is start the action server. So open up a new terminal, go inside the directory in which you are working and use the command rasa run actions. This will run the code that sends the user input to the Llama 3 model. Great. Once done, come back to your Visual Studio code and use rasa shell. Give it a few moments. Let's ask our question. So I'll say, what is photosynthesis? And there we go. It has generated a response for our question. As you can see, it got us the answer for what is photosynthesis. So in a similar way, feel free to give more questions to the chatbots and notice the responses. So there you have your chatbot trained and running. It's a fully functional, intelligent assistant powered by Rasa AI. So in this tutorial, we learned how to build a customizable Rasa chatbot from scratch, integrated with Llama 3 model.